I took a trip to Hawaii for a little over a week and uh, I was filled with adventure, exploration, some chilling on the beach, and of course, some movement and stretching. I was gonna put this at the end of the video, but I figure this is kind of like my favorite thing to talk about. Whenever I travel, I really love to keep movement and to keep training and working out as a priority for myself. I think that being in a super beautiful, inspiring environment can really just inspire you to feel good, you know? And how do you feel good? Well. What's one way to make you feel good is to work out, to, to move, to use your body, to be physical. I've had people ask me, you know, like, you're on vacation, like, why, why do you need to work out? Like, just chill out and relax, you know? Just have a margarita by the pool. And, you know, ultimately for me, I've done that before. You know, I've taken vacations when I was younger and partied and, and sat on the beach all day long. Oh yeah, dude! Don't get me wrong, those are some really fun times. But ultimately, now being older, like, What's a lot more fulfilling is to be in a new novel environment, something really beautiful and inspiring and to uh, keep doing the thing that, I, that actually brings me a lot of joy when I'm just at home, to do that somewhere else. So we went to the island of Kauai. Kauai, gotta say it with your chest, Kauai. Just kidding, I don't know if that's how you say it. First off, Intense travel to get there, man. I think unless you live in like California, West Coast, uh, it's brutal travel. It's long, the time zones change on you so much. But immediately when I got there, it was like flooring how beautiful it was. And of course, Hawaii is like known for the beaches, the coasts. Do a handstand on the water. <laughs> but what was really, really cool about Kauai was like, it was so thick with forest and greenness. That it was just like, whoo, gave me the feels, man. Really uh, just incredible, incredible views. You really get the Jurassic Park vibes when you're there. Like you look out and you're just like, that's some thick wildness out there. <laughs> so, I mean, you go to Hawaii, the beach, always incredible, right? I think in Kauai is kind of known for the waves, right? Uh, lots of surfers are there. Luckily, uh, one of the friends that we were staying with is a surf instructor, so we got to go out on the water quite a bit, and it was so, so fun. I'm very much a beginner, novice surfer. I spent some time last year in Mexico uh, learning how to surf a bit. All I'll say is it brings me so much joy. It's such, oh, I love it, and, and I love that it's scary. You know, I think that fear component of surfing is so, so valuable, because like, you know, I got tumbled by some waves, and um, <laughs> if anybody is a, is a surf instructor in a, in a cool place, hit me up, let's chat. So one of the really cool experiences was we were chilling on a beach, we happen to have some snorkeling stuff, so I'm like, I'm gonna go out and check some things out. And you know, I've heard it's not snorkeling season right now, so I'm cruising around, and honestly, like it's not, not seeing anything that cool. There's, there's a few cool tropical fish, but the reef was like not, not, the, not the greatest. And then suddenly I come upon this big sea turtle. And man, was that cool. Uh, and then suddenly like his friend appears, right? Maybe it was his brother, I don't know. They're homies, but I, I'm, I'm underwater chilling with these two huge sea turtles. I'm just observing them, being in their element. Yeah, it was a really incredible experience. Like it, you see the, how ancient they are and, and you see, you know, you just want them to like give you some wisdom or something. I'm like, teach me something, guys. <laughs> but in all realness, yeah, such a cool experience, man. I didn't think I was gonna find him. And then, Snuck up behind him. Pretty cool, man. That guy is huge. We got to hang out on the beach and do some some group movement sessions with some of our friends that were out there, and this was this was so cool, man. Uh, just you know, being very playful and explorative. Whenever I'm at the beach, I feel great to go and uh, and, and just to like move my body. You know, move my body in fun ways. You know, not necessarily like training anything, but just like yo, let's go do cartwheels. Let's go do flips and you know and let's all just like mess around and that so fun we did some breath work some wim hof breathing together no better time than that so speaking of the beach feeling good relaxed um i actually noticed this earlier in the year when i spent some time in mexico uh was that i really love stretching on the sand and i think it's because like the ocean, it just relaxes you, your nervous system is settled, you're in a good place to open up ranges of motion in your body. And then also like the sand, man, the sand's a great place to stretch because it has some give to it, obviously, right? So you can 
gently nudge your body into deeper positions. And sometimes it could seem like you're in deeper positions uh, than you really are, but that's really good training for the mind because the mind starts believing that you can get deeper into these ranges of motion. So I had this awesome stretching session where I just trained all my splits uh, in the back bridge as well. What's up Shiloh? You wanna say hi? You wanna say hi? Oh yeah. Shiloh, we wish she could have came to Hawaii with us, huh? You would have liked the beach out there. <laughs> All right, I'll let you go. Get on with your day, girl. One of the feelings that came up for me was that uh, I feel very fortunate to be able to train my splits now. Like to go and just do like one session on the beach in Hawaii where I'm like getting pretty deep into my front splits and my pancake and my middle splits and my bridge. It was not always this way. You know, I had to reflect on this and be like, man, if this was like three, four, five years ago, you know, I couldn't have done any of this. Uh, so it's taken a long, long time. And I think it's valuable for people to, to know that I was nowhere near this five years ago. And that if you are on the stiffer side of the spectrum, like myself, realistically, it might take you a few years, right? Before you're really starting to open up your body. But if you keep at it, if you keep consistent, it always happens, right? It's just when you get frustrated and you quit, that's where no progress is when you're not doing the thing, right? Ah, my foot got a pine cone in it. So really fun stretching session. One, I mean, probably one of the deepest, the deepest I've ever gotten into my, my middle splits. So man, just, just feeling good there. Woo! All right. All right, I like it, I like it. We took a trip to the secret waterfall. I believe this is in Wailua, if I'm not mistaken. This was so, so fun. Cause like I said, the beach is obviously incredible in Hawaii, but getting into that thick forest, right? So we hopped onto the river in uh, paddle boards and kayaks. Actually, I was on, I was on like a pretty small paddle board. I, I was not feeling comfortable standing. So I was like kneeling the whole time. And then I would like try to stand up and I'd be like, ah, no, nah, I don't feel comfortable. Go back to kneeling. And then towards the end, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna stand up, not gonna go back down. And I just fell in the water and I couldn't get that, <laughs> couldn't get that standing. <laughs> no! How's it going? <laughs> but so we parked the paddle boards and kayaks and then you just hike deeper into uh, the forest. You know, you're, you're like these plants, these vegetation like over your head. We're crossing rivers and stuff, going deeper and deeper. It's getting more treacherous the deeper that we go. Don't put this online. I don't want child services to get knocked on my doorstep. And then um, we come out to this, this huge waterfall. And oh man, so, so cool. I loved it because it was like the perfect size waterfall to where like you could swim out to it and you could even go under it. And it was like right at the limit of where like this kind of hurts, but not, but you could still do it. And you still just feel like, <sighs> like you feel very like alive being underneath that, that water pounding down on you. And if it was like any more, it would be too much, but it was, Ooh. So that was an awesome trip. Secret waterfall, if you have a chance to do that, if you're in Kauai, I'd suggest that one. And the next day, met up with uh, our other friends, Garrett and Jordan, uh, at G Money Movement on Instagram. We actually made some strength side videos together. You've probably already seen them. But we hiked to the Queen's Bath, and this was like a super treacherous, like very short hike. It took maybe like 20 minutes maybe less than that, 15 minutes, but like so, so muddy. I mean, it rains so much in Kauai. That's why it's so beautiful. That's why it's so green. And then you come out to this, this, uh, this shoreline, this coastline, uh, and it's just these huge rock formations and these like little tiny coves that make these, these baths, right? And then the baths are like, they're like jacuzzis for giants basically. But uh, then you're like right next to the ocean and then the waves come and they crash and then they come into the, the bath a little bit, but you're pretty protected from the rocks and stuff. And um, of course, there's some, uh, some rocks to jump off. And it's like the perfect height for me. I love a good like 15 to 20 foot cliff jump. You know, when you're pushing up into that 30, 40 range, like I've done them before, they're scary, they're not, that much fun for me. I have friends who do crazy stuff like that. For me, give me like a 15 foot rock or like a 20 foot rock. I could spend all day out there um, 
<laughs> just jumping. Uh, and I think I, I jumped like five or six times. I probably would have just stayed all day and just kept jumping, but we were with people. So we had to move on. We got a couple handstands in and then, and then we moved on. Some of you guys know I've been working through an ankle injury and um, I think just like being in such a beautiful place, feeling really relaxed, uh, my ankle was feeling good and I got to move more dynamically and move in a way that I hadn't and been able to in a few months and it felt so, so good. And there's just this beautiful green grass uh, outside the place that we were staying in and it just like was calling me to go uh, jump around and roll around on and um, got a just really awesome movement session in. <laughs> And also did some handstands as well. Quick training session, just training some press handstands and whatnot. Um, one thing that is so, so powerful and part of our strength side philosophy is like developing a practice that can be very self-reliant. If you can go to a place and not need anything, not need a gym, not need weights, dumbbells, but still be able to train your body to be strong, to use your body, to be flexible, the self-reliant practice so empowering, man. And that's why I really like encourage people to, to train on the gymnastics rings or to develop a handstand or to get into training the splits is because it requires no equipment. I mean, gymnastics rings, you know, that's fun. Bring your rings along, find a tree to hang them from. But yeah, to find things that you can keep getting better at and that you don't have to rely on uh, the gym or like this piece of equipment that I have at my house or whatever. There's so much freedom to be found with just you and your body weight. That's not to say that you should only do body weight stuff and that you should never, I mean, I use equipment all the time, but to have part of your practice be something that you can train anywhere, that's what we're doing, man. I was recently reading this book called uh, Dopamine Nation. One thing I found very, very interesting was uh, she was speaking of the dopamine release, the hormonal release that makes us feel good that we get from doing uh, a drug or alcohol, right? One of the things that triggers the same hormonal release of dopamine and feel good, this feel good thing is new environment, novel environment. This was so fascinating to me because it's amazing that that is actually at our fingertips. And there's there's other things too, but this is this is something that's very positive at our fingertips that can give us that same high and aliveness from life. I think that's why traveling can be so so fulfilling for most people and can be almost addicting is it's like inviting novel experience into your life and then getting more and more comfortable and feeling safe with that novel experience, which gives you the confidence to then go and seek more, seek more experience. And the more experience that you have, the more that's the more information that you have to then share with others and connect with others and, and just truly like live more fulfilling life. So that was my trip to Kauai mixed with some movement and some, some travel philosophy. Uh, if you ever have a chance to visit Kauai, it will blow you away. It is one of the most beautiful places and uh, I had such a good time. I would go back, but man, that, uh, that jet lag gets you. I used to sometimes share books on the YouTube channel. I haven't done that in a while, but um, I actually read this while I was in Mexico, Breathe by Hicks and Gracie. I actually read it on Kindle and I love this book so much that I was like, I gotta order the actual copy because I wanna like give this to people or I wanna share it on the YouTube channel. And man, just like what an incredible life he lived. I, I think, you know, kind of going with the travel theme, like it's really nice, especially as uh, our Western cultures to like read people who kind of experience life a bit different than we did. And, and he had it an incredible life. You get to read all these really like fun, engaging stories, but then also he just drops in this wisdom and he, you know, he's a master. He's in, he's considered one of the best, if not the best jujitsu practitioners ever. So, um, really recommend this read. It'll blow you away. It'll inspire you. It inspired me a lot. As I was reading that, I was doing more breathing. I was doing more stretching and moving and swimming and stuff. So this is a bit of a different 
style of video. Haven't done one like this in a while. It's kind of like travel and train. Um, if you enjoyed it, I'd love for you to just share in the comments what you enjoyed about it. Looking forward to doing more of these in the future, hopefully with Trevor. So also give it a thumbs up, you know, subscribe to Strength Side, of course. And uh, if you want to, if you're feeling inspired to move right now to stretch and you want to do a routine that I led while I was here in Kauai, then click this right here. All right, guys. Ciao.